After being re-welcomed into the international fold, the new president is on a charm offensive. I believe that rebuilding a country like Madagascar will require the input of foreign investors. So for this reason, it's entirely normal that I should, with my government, create an environment which would be conducive to foreign investment. We asked about national reconciliation and the future role of the exiled former leader in South Africa. I'm not really focused on Mr. Ravalmana because I've always said that my priority today are the 20 million inhabitants of Madagascar. I have to start working to improve the fate of these 20 million Madagascar citizens. One person might be important, yes, but I believe that if he could contribute to backing me, to backing the 20 million inhabitants of our country, this would be the most important thing. Two months since assuming the presidency, he has yet to appoint a prime minister to form a new government. We also asked the president if his focus would be on a government of national unity given the stark divides that have defined Madagascar's political landscape over the last five years. He said there was a need to remedy and heal the scars of the past while promising to advocate openness within the framework of setting up the next government. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.